Hey, memers and streamers. Are you tired of whiffing your snipes in Destiny? Have you ever noticed that your really fast flick snipes tend to overshoot? Knowing why this is the case and how to deal with it could save you a lot of hassle in the long run. Let's dive in and discover the technical reason for this, why it's not entirely your fault, and what to do about it. When I still aimed entirely visually in shooter games, everything was fine. But when I first built the muscle memory for twitch shooting and my skills started to grow, I noticed something strange with sniper rifles. If my aim was spot on with things like hand cannons, my really quick sniper shots would almost always overshoot. If I practiced with snipers enough for them to hit, suddenly hand cannon shots would often be short by just a smidge. I found all of this ridiculously frustrating. Eventually I learned that it was due to a literal difference in the aim sensitivity between the different weapon types, and this was an immense help. Since the sensitivities are fairly close, they can be mistaken for being the same if you only shoot visually, but they're not. Again, this is no big deal for slow pace stuff if you're shooting purely visually, but if you're playing in the margins near the edge of your ability, there just isn't time for visual refinement before taking a shot. It needs to be a rapid move to the critical spot and the shot taken, all in one swift movement. When I got serious about the aim thing, one of the first things I did was to grab my digital caliper from my shop to measure everything as absolutely accurately as possible. This particular unit that I use reads down to within something like 10 to 20 microns worth of accuracy. Since I was calibrating my aim trainer to my current game, I also wanted to be able to measure and quantify what my sensitivity was just in case I ever had to change something. In the beginning, I only measured the ADS sensitivity for hand cannons auto rifles, and pulse rifles, and since they were essentially the same, I just assumed everything else was too. When the hit registration and lag issues of the 6v6s pushed me into almost exclusively playing the 3v3s, I started using sniper rifles a lot more. It was at this point that I noticed something was wrong. At first I thought it was just me, but after a few months of frustration, I pulled out my measuring stuff and I measured. Surprise, surprise, it turned out that sniper rifles have a higher ADS sensitivity. Since I've been having a bit of an issue again due to health, I thought I would revisit this and remeasure things to make sure that my aim trainer was calibrated accurately for my sniper practice. So, I take my little measuring straight edge to my mouse, grab my digital caliper, and got to work measuring. The approach to measuring things is the same as my video COBS 2, but also includes measuring the distance between marks using my digital caliper. For those who haven't seen the video, it's pretty simple. You simply use an on-screen reference like a sticky note stuck to the monitor, just a fraction of an inch below your crosshairs, using it as a distance guide. Then, you cut a small piece of thin cardboard or plastic that you can tape to the bottom of your mouse that sticks out the side. Plop the mouse on some paper, and you can use the on-screen sticky note guide, and mark down on the paper exactly how far you have to move the mouse to move perfectly from one edge of the sticky note to the other side. Doing this kind of measurement for both types of weapons will give you enough information to calculate the relative sensitivity between them. Here's the results of actually doing this. First, I did four ADS measurements for the pulse rifle. I got 33.25 millimeters, 33.06, 34.25, and 34.95. These averaged out to about 33.87 millimeters of mouse movement to move the full width of the sticky note. Next, I did the sniper rifle ADS measurement. I did five measurements for this one, and I got 31.77, 30.97, 31.9, 31.43, and 32.37. This averages out to about 31.68 millimeters of most movement to move the full width of the sticky note. My prior measurements over the last few years had put sniper rifles at just over 106% of the sensitivity of the other weapons. Our measurements here came out to an average of 33.87 for my pulse rifle, and 31.78 for my sniper. The ratio is simply 33.87 divided by 31.78, which is roughly 1.069. Properly rounding this would put that at about 1.07, but I suspect that fourth digit to be error. I've done this several times prior, and it was always just over 1.06, or 
It's close in any case. So there you have it. If you often shoot by feel like I do, this is a significant finding and it needs to be taken into consideration. Let's look at an example from a real game. In this image here, on my editing machine's monitor, the distance from my current crosshairs to the other player is about 81 millimeters on my screen. The player's head is about 3 millimeters wide or about 1.5 millimeter measured from the center to the edge. That means for a shot to be a hit, I would need to move that 81 millimeters plus or minus that 1.5 millimeters, which means that 79.5 millimeters to 82.5 millimeters of on-screen movement would be a hit. So what's 81 millimeters multiplied by our 1.06 ADS sensitivity multiplier that's added to sniper rifles? About 85.8. That's overshooting the edge of his head by 3.3 millimeters. A clear miss. There's a few approaches that I've used myself. Since it can take a lot of work to build the snapshot or flick aiming style, you could just fall back on moving the crosshairs visually until it's good and then send the shot. Of course, that's slow, and if you're trying to push to build skill, that's kind of the same thing as admitting defeat. My first approach when I started doing this was to simply flick to what I figured was about 6% short. This worked a good chunk of the time, but it was way slower than a simple muscle memory flick. While this got the job done, that extra fraction of a second pausing to think is way, way slower than having it actually committed to muscle memory. When you've built up the muscle memory, you can basically move to a target as fast as you can twitch the mouse. My current approach is this. I've set my aim trainer sensitivity for my sniper rifle instead of the other weapons, and I practice with it every single day. The reason is simple. If I whiff two sniper bullets in Crucible, I'm empty. But if I whiff two primary ammo bullets, it's no big deal. The second part of this approach is that I now pretty much use a sniper in my PvE kit every single day. I've also found the rapid frame snipers to be much better for building in-game muscle memory. By doing so much in-game shooting, it's as if my tired old brain finally got the hint that sniper rifles have a different sensitivity. My hit rate has gone up drastically when I'm doing really fast twitch shots. If I wasn't using a name trainer at all though, my approach would probably be this. Use whatever mods you need to use to make sure you have lots of ammo, use a rapid frame sniper that you like, and just start doing headshots. Small guys, big guys, medium sized guys, every shot you send should give you gold numbers. All of them. And just as important, you should be trying to shoot in a way that's working on your weaknesses. In PvE, missing a sniper shot is rarely fatal, but it sure is in PvP. Use that more relaxed pace to work on your shooting. Your goal is to smoothly and quickly move the crosshairs onto the head and click, literally clicking heads. Start slow if you have to, but push yourself to be accurate without any minor corrections before hitting the trigger. Swinging and clicking should be almost the same movement. When I shoot during a really fast flick, the mouse is often still even in motion. Sometimes the crosshairs even end up past the target. As fun as wild crazy flicks can be, if you find yourself having to swipe half the display on every single shot, you're doing something wrong. You'll notice that even the people who rarely miss these kinds of shots, they almost never intentionally shoot like this if they don't have to. To me, flick aim like this has a few uses. First, for automatic weapons, it allows you to rapidly flick from head to head while ending baddies and just rapidly getting on target in general. Second, it's a last ditch attempt at survival or winning an engagement if you've grossly miscalculated where you should have been aiming or a target of opportunity arises. Remember, you are a lot more likely for a shot to be a hit if you only had to flick a fraction of an inch on screen versus 10 inches. 6% of a tiny movement isn't very much, but 6% of a huge movement is a lot. This right here, the percentage thing, is the entire reason why my wider flicks used to miss so much, because that 6% matters. I'd like to mention something else here though. As methodical as I tend to be with this kind of thing, I have not measured every single sniper rifle in the game. I haven't measured every pulse rifle, auto rifle, or hand cannon either. But I have measured a very large varied mix of sniper rifles against a rather large and varied mix of other pulse rifles, auto rifles, and hand cannons. It has always come out to the same answer. Somewhere between 6 and 7% higher sensitivity. 
This difference in sensitivity thing really threw me when I first started seriously using sniper rifles, and it caused me a lot of grief when I was trying to improve my shooting. Hopefully, knowing about it now can help prevent you from having to endure the same hassles that I did. Remember, they have about 6% more sensitivity than many other weapons in the game, like pulse rifles, auto rifles, and hand cannons. It's not a big deal if you aim visually, but if you aim by feel like I do for fast shots, it can be the difference of life versus respawn. And that's it guys. I hope you found this video helpful. Now that I have a lot of the other stuff out of the way, I want to try and focus on aiming specific tips for shooter games in general. If you think you'd be interested in that, feel free to smack that subscribe button down there. It's the only way you'll know when I post. And as always, GG's and good luck.